Right, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Andreas. Uh, I'm living here in Egypt since uh, two years, nearly two years. Uh, and I'm working for a company as IT advisor in Kenya. Right, so uh, Kerna is near Dendra Temple. Yes. Um, so what would you say to any tourists that were thinking about going to Kerna? So uh, it's really quiet there. Mm. Um, you can visit the Dandara Temple. It's really a beautiful temple and uh, all the tourists which I have seen there were really happy about uh, Kena itself because it's a really quiet and uh, clean city. Uh, it's close to the Nile of course too. Um, there is not many tourism there of course but uh, it's really a beautiful uh, nice small city with nearly one million uh, people inside. I didn't realize there was as many as that. Now today is the second day of their elections. Yes. What has the atmosphere been like down in Kerna? Are they looking forward to the elections? Uh, they are just doing it, nothing else. It's, it's quiet. <laughs> it's really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Not much political discussion? No, that, that was before of course, but normally in the night or during the night and uh, I stay just during the day there, uh, or my working hours, my normal working hours. So uh, these political discussions are normally uh, in the night, in the evening, on the bigger places, and everything was quiet during the time. Okay. Especially if you remember, we have a really big uh, Coptic population there, and also Muslims there, but between those both groups it was really quiet during mm -hmm. this time. Right, well, uh, <laughs> my cat is attacking him. <laughs> he's not, he's not <laughs> denying what you just said. Um, I wonder if you could just say something in German for any German people uh, watching. Ja, es ist immer wunderschön hier in Ägypten. Es würde mich freuen, wenn endlich mal wieder mehr Touristen herkommen würden. Denn dadurch würden dann auch die Leute hier in Ägypten <lacht> etwas mehr Einkommen bekommen. Letzten Endes haben sie gerade speziell hier in Oberägypten sehr viel äh, verloren in den letzten zwölf Monaten nach der Revolution und es wird Zeit, dass sie endlich wieder äh, etwas mehr Einkommen haben und äh, speziell auch für die deutschen Touristen, es ist sicher hier, es ist ruhig hier, gerade für Touristen ist es völlig angenehm hier zu äh, sich zu bewegen. Es besteht überhaupt keine Gefahr, dass irgendwelche Demonstrationen sind oder sonstige Sachen, so wie sie in Kairo waren zum Beispiel. Und wenn man es wirklich vergleicht, letzten Endes, wir haben in Europa auch Demonstrationen, deswegen fährt man trotzdem nach Athen, deswegen geht man trotzdem nach Paris. Man muss halt eben nicht zum Tahrir Square gehen, es sei denn, man will dort die Demonstrationen sehen. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know when you stopped because I don't speak German. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. I think uh, it's good to know that the other parts of Egypt, what's happening there, not just Luxor. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you talking to us. Okay, no problem. <laughs> thank you very much.